Hey guys, in this section we're actually going to take a break from Ruby on Rails and just create our uh, HTML CSS template that we're going to use for my Ruby blog. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the project files and we're in chapter 6 and we're going to go to section 1 program files and th this will be the actual program files that will be um, included for you as well. So I'm going to create a new folder. Um, I'm just going to call it HTML. And you probably already know how to do this stuff. If you want to skip it and just use this template, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to create an images folder and a CSS folder. And in index.html file. Alright, so now we have our folder structure. And I guess I can just show you the template, what it's going to look like. So this is going to be our template. Uh, very simple, very Ruby-like. Um, we're going to actually have a controller for our static pages. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have a controller or if we'll just use the public directory or what, but um, on the home page, I just want to display each post, um, the most recent posts. Uh, we'll have a search area, um, and these will be like blocks, partials, uh, whatever you want to call it. We'll have the, the list of categories, and then a blog roll with some posts uh, listed here as well. So, very simple. Um, but yeah, let's get to work. So, we get out of that, and the first thing I want to do here is is create the index file. So if we so let's open up index.html. I'll open it first in a browser. So we have nothing, and I'm going to open it with Notepad++. And I'm just going to paste some code in uh, instead of typing it all out because that would take way too long. And it's just basic HTML. This is actually an XHTML document. So we have the doc type. <coughs> and then we have the head tags. And we have the, um, the content, the character set. And we have a title, static title, um, style sheets. And we have the body tag and a wrapper and a header wrapper, logo. Um, we have the menu, which is everything static right now, um, and then the main page, and we have our static posts, you know, the title and then the body, um, the date. So it's all it's all just hard coded in there. So um, eventually, this is all going to be generated dynamically by Rails. And then we have the sidebar with the categories and the blog roll, uh, footer. So basic HTML document if I save this and then reload this is all the static content we have search box and now we just need to add some CSS um, as you can see this is pointing to there's two CSS sheets there's one that's um, remote by Google API and then we have this style CSS which is in the CSS folder so we have to now Create that. So if we create a new text document, we'll call it style.css and open that up in Notepad. And I'm going to paste in some styles. So not nothing too hard. I mean we have the body styled with a black background. Um, all our heading tags are set to a certain size. Um, <clears throat> the wrapper is a thousand pix wide, pixels wide. Um, the header is 120 pixels high. Logo. So base, basic stuff. We have uh, some styling for the search bar, um, for the menus, 
and then we have for the posts the sidebar um, the calendar and the footer so let's uh let's just save this and reload so here's our template now remember it's just a shell it's just static content there's nothing dynamic about this site yet that's what we're going to do um, we're actually going to create some layouts and rails so that we can have the top logo and menus and all that stuff that we need <coughs> So I will have this actual HTML template in your program files for this section in a folder called HTML um, because you know I'm not going to go through everything and uh, just to save you some time so you don't have to pause the video and cop every bit of it. Um, so just look in that in um, this sections folder for a, fo a folder called HTML. All right, so now that we have it. Um, we have the the template what I want to do now is go into our project folder which is sites my Ruby blog and if we go to app and then we go to views and then home uh, this is our home page now I'm not sure I do want a list of I want a list of posts on our home page. Right now it's just a static static uh, page. Let me open it up. It's just a, an H1 tag and a paragraph. Now what I could do is just set I could set the post page um, as the home page but I don't want to do that because I want it to be slightly different. Um, I want to be able to have a um, like a, a text box if we want and I want to be able to have a different amount of posts to display so what I'm going to do is in the in the home controller let's go into app uh, controllers home controller and we want to just grab all our posts um, just like we did in the post resource so just we're going to say posts um, Post all. So that should grab all the posts for us. Save it and go into our view, our home view, and we'll just say Welcome to my Ruby blog. Um, and then here we could just And then I want the post, so we can uh, create a loop. We'll say um, posts dot each post dot each do. Post Ah, uh, we shouldn't have this equal sign here. So for each post, uh, we want to display. So we want um if we just say post dot title, save that, and now we need to uh, run our server. I'm actually using the the administrator start command prompt that came with Rail the Rails installer, as opposed to the Git bash. Um, I don't know. I'm just. It really doesn't matter what you use, but I've I've just been working with this for the past few days. Um, so we're in the C drive. I want to go to sites. Um, I want to go to sites. My Ruby blog. Okay, 
and here I want to start my server so if we go in let's open up local hosts Okay, so right now what it's doing is just here's our heading, here's our p paragraph, and here's the titles, which aren't formatted. They don't have any spaces or anything like that. So we need to do that. And we can add just add some spacing. Uh, actually, I'm going to put this in an H4. Actually, let's just take the same formatting that we have in the actual... Um, post view which is just an h3 tag alright so let's just do that for now so this is our we need our home view which is views home okay so this is it and in between the loop paste that all right, so now this is this is our home page. Um, if we go and open up the HTML layout we just created, what we want is to have each of these posts in one of these blocks like this, okay? Um, and we are going to have to get the date here um, and we want a read more link now comments um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do comments if I do it'll most likely be in the last chapter while we touch up everything else on on this actual website so <clears throat> right now I want to show you how to deal with layouts so if we go to our main our my Ruby blog and we go to app views uh, layouts now this is the default layout that rails gives us it's called application.html so if we open this what you see here I'm not sure if I explained this earlier on but this is the the, the entire document okay no no matter which view we're seeing it's coming along with the the HTML and head tags um, and some style sheets and the actual view like for instance this our home view our home index view all this content here is all it's all in this yield um, variable right here so if we get rid of this and save we reload we have nothing okay so that and I actually did we did get into this a little because I did show you how to do the flash the um, flash messages because we already set that up here um, and this here is grabbing all our style sheets and this is grabbing all our JavaScripts all our meta tags um, you can see the title says my Ruby blog here um, if we were to change this and save it and reload it should change our our title okay so what I want to do is change the layout but right now what I want to do is I want to create a separate layout file not this application this is the default what I want to do is create a new a new layout and since we're using the home resource then I want to call it home dot html dot erb sorry okay so now if I actually take all the the code from the application layout and put it in the home layout and let's just change this to home and then save it and then go and reload you can see up here it's changed now this is only gonna happen 
on the home with the home resource or the home controller if we click on the uh, this title here it brings us to the post controller so there's nothing here for the post uh, if we want to create say a different layout for posts then we could just Oh, whoops, sorry. We could just create a new file here. And we can call it posts.html.erb. And open that up. And copy all this. And then here we'll have um, just blog posts. Save that. Now if we go back and reload this, now we have this blog post in the title. So, I mean, you can create as many layouts as you want. You can, we could create a categories layout, which we probably will. Um, but you can, like I said, you can do it for any resource, any controller, any object that you want. Uh, I think that's a good place to stop for here. Uh, we'll, we'll be getting more into this in the next section uh, where we, where we'll actually create a layout and integrate the HTML CSS template. So I will see you in that section.